as most of you know, I put out my first release as a solo artist early this year as my Unoa EP. And it features seven songs, and the whole idea behind this CD is to give everyone a glimpse into what goes on inside my head, and kind of give everyone a taste of what's to come. So, I figured I'd give everyone some explanation behind the song titles and the meanings behind them. So, starting at the top with the first song, it's called Against the Grain. And what I was thinking when I wrote that song is, well, this whole CD and everything, all the songs, all the parts, I literally did everything myself. And the meaning behind this song, Against the Grain, is, well, I'm just going against what, you know, you would expect. I'm making my own way, you know, as I try to pursue my career as a solo artist. I'm going against the grain, out of the ordinary, out of the norm, you know. Anyway, the second song is called The Wolf's Cry, and I didn't really have an ideal topic when I come up with the title and when I wrote the song, but it came out sounding, you know, kind of like, has some like Nordic vibes, you know, makes you think of Vikings or the seas or snow and wolves and such, and... My mother and myself, we both loved wolves, and I just thought it'd be kind of a perfect title for it, so I decided to call it The Wolf's Cry. Now, the third song, When Time Stands Still, I actually did a music video for this one at a location that was uh, used to be a housing complex, and when Hurricane Katrina hit the coast, it pretty much wiped everything out, and all that's left there are the slabs and some floors and some road that used to run through the complex. But anyway, I thought it was perfect because it was kind of like it was a, a time capsule, you know, trapped in time, you know, not, not progressing or anything. And this song, When Time Stands Still, is basically about that, you know, time being at a standstill, not going anywhere. And I don't know, in my music video, I have a stopwatch and it helped represent that. But at the end of it, I close the stopwatch and I walk off. And that represents me taking charge and trying to break free of that standstill. Now, the fourth song is actually the self-titled one from the CD, Unoya. And it translates into Beautiful Mind or Thinking. And like I said, that song and this whole CD is about, you know, a glimpse inside of my mind about what I think, you know, and you know, how I create and everything. It's like a look inside my head, so to speak. Now, the fifth one is called Eternal Summit. And this song, like, I just thought of a mountain or a summit, you know, because it's about an uphill battle. You know, life can be like that sometimes. It's just a continuous fight. You struggle. You, it's like you're going uphill. But eventually, you'll get to the top and hopefully it'll be smooth selling from then on out. And that's what this song's about, the eternal summit, you know, constant struggle. But it will get better. Now, the sixth song is called Isolation of the Mind. And this one was about, you know, it could be about myself or quite a few other people out there. Because at some point in life, everyone has dealt with something that, you know, put them through a lot. And this song is about, you know... When you isolate yourself, your worst enemy can be yourself, sitting there trapped in your own thoughts. And it's just about that, you know, the isolation of the mind. You know, you got to try to break free of that and come back to reality, you know, and get past it. You have, time is the only healer. Isolation of the mind. And the last song is called Tides of Harmony. And I actually want to do a video for this one involving a beach and the sunset, but you guys didn't hear that. Anyway, this one's about, well, just life in general, everything coming full circle. You know, everything coming together and working in harmony. And that's what this song's about, Tides of Harmony. But anyway, that's some explanation behind all seven of the songs. And like I said, it's just a glimpse in my mind and you know personal experiences and things i've dealt with i just wanted to do this i hope somebody can connect with it and it helps them through it but um anyway there you have it
Enoya, all seven songs. And don't forget, I still have a bunch of copies left. If you want to snag one, just drop me a comment, send me a message, and I'll get with you on it. They're still $15 a piece, and that covers your shipping and everything. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I just want you guys to know I appreciate the continued support and all the love I've received since I put this out. It's kind of overwhelming. <laughs> but once again, thank you. And keep in mind there's always more on the way.